Lucanus Cervus Oc Bevianus, the eastern form of the European stag beetle. One month ago, I searched through the substrate in the box. I also had, I think, a larva or some eggs in this box. It's, uh, the etiquette is rotten away, though I don't see it exactly what should be in there. We have a look here. And we will check the second time through the box and then if we find some small larvae we put them in 500 milliliter uh, containers with flake soil and kimchi mixed and um, the rest we put back and uh, we will see in half a year then what uh, really happened also inside of the logs. But first I want to show you something that is really astonishing because you probably have seen that in February we first checked uh, the Lucanus cervus uh, adults in the pupil cells and there already we have seen this male here and he's still alive and well it's my, I mean more than seven months now that he's completely active and as you can see he's not he's really healthy he have didn't he hasn't lost any of the legs or torsi nothing he's just perfect in a perfect shape and if you keep these uh, look on it beetles in a cool place, that's a good thing to give them a longer lifetime. So I keep them around 17 degrees uh, in a cellar where it's very humid and that's a nice place for them to have a long life. And if you have some females and you only have one male, that's sometimes very important to keep the male so that you don't lose the breeding process. So this is a nice one, we put him back into his uh, retirement box with a beetle jelly and he, I hope he will live uh, even longer here. Seems good for him. Normally they say in uh, Wild nature, they might live not longer than three to four, maximum four months. But here in captivity, they seem to live much longer than uh, we've seen right now. So let's see what we find here. Whether we find something in this box. As I said before, I didn't, uh, I couldn't read the, no the notice on the whether it says it should be eggs inside here or adults. Let's see whether we find something. Oh, here. It's part of an egg. No. It's part of an egg. It should be. The, no, I don't know exactly what it is. Yeah, still an egg. Oh, here too. Still an egg. That's, that's shortly, seconds before closure uh, for before hatching you already see you already see if we can make a good picture here that would be nice because you can already see the larvae inside of them but we have to clean it a little bit so that we can see that and to put it in the right direction so that we can see the shape of the body of the So I think now I can try to get a little closer and then to try to make a sharper image. So well, you can see that it's, it's, it has had some, it can shine through. Some part of the body are shining through. Um, and this might be only very shortly before hatching. This is the second air here. I will place it beside it. This has a little more oval form than the other one. So what we will do, we will just fill up the box again and place them back the same way as we have seen them and hope that they can hatch here completely and be nice lorry later so we have two eggs here in this box and we have to wait next thing is now that i try to 
go through this substrate here. Of course, the, the female was out already longer time. That's a piece of a, of a kimchi from a Raishi, Ganoderma lucidum. And we will just now check whether we see traces of the larvae of the Conus Cervus Occupationus here. I think normally we see them near near uh, wooden structures. So that was a very let's see how oh, this was a, a kimchi a kimchi bottle. But now it's full of worms, so I, I can't imagine to see any any larvae of a stag beetle in here. I think they they like it more when it's a little bit harder the material, like for example a piece uh, like this. I don't know who built this hole here. If it was if it was the female, it's also from Kinchi of this Rashi, which we'll just leave it here and go further on to the, the wood block like this one. Let's see whether we find some traces in here of larvae. I don't see anything here at the moment. What I see is a lot of earthworms, so that's not a real problem for stag beetles. For other beetles it would be a problem. That is, oh yes, but I see a larva. Already an L2, and it's a big L2, as you can guess from the head capsule, that is a really uh, big and fresh L2 larva. So that, where does she come from? I think she came out of this piece of wood, or was near it. So, for this larva we have a nice box like this, with kimchi. 50-50 mixed with flake soil. That's a good recipe for the first stages, first two stages of the larva. And I know what I oh, we could just put it into this hole here with a little substrate minus the worms. That would be better. And the next one. We already f also found in the other uh, box documented in the German playlist uh, three larvas. It, it looks like something went on here. Oh yeah, you see it, the larva. It's down here. It's an L1, very little. An L1 sitting here in this. Uh, let's see what I can show you. So where is it here? Here is it. You see that? The larva sitting in this little cavity. It's a bit too close to the lane, so we can't make it sharp. Now you see it. And we will. Yeah, now she's looking out here. This is an L. Yeah, L1 could be. Yeah. So also we find some more larvae here. Let's see whether we can take this also out and put it into a separate box. It would be easier to control the growth of them than to leave them inside of this wood piece. But of course, like with all the larvas in a hard, in a hard uh, wooden piece, it's very difficult to take them out without um, harming them. So that's the whole of it must be a hold from a towel of the mushroom that we oculated on that piece of oak, I think. Same procedure as every year, <laughs> yes. Just make a hole into this block of kimchi, put her in, close with a little bit of old material, and then we go on. I already see an egg here. That's what that's the egg here. This one. So I will put this egg also in the box where we already placed the others, but a little bit on the edge so I can 
that's it. Well, yeah, close it. So let's go, let's go down to the bottom of this box. So I think it could be that in this wood we could probably see some more of the larvae if we go. This looks also like a tunnel that a larvae has made. Yeah, look here, you see her. It's underneath that first layer of wood where she is sitting looking out that's it here in the hole in this piece of of material and of course also this one we will separate into this box for her own so we know there is enough material and enough food for them to stay for the next six months when we take them out and put them in a box like this so that's also, we can get rid of the worms here, if we take care a little bit, that would be nice for the, for the larvae too. So, I think that there still can be more, but we will see them later in half an year when we go through, we will see them, because after they have eaten up the soft wood, they go and eat from outside on the wood pieces. So now I think I have here and found something more here. Now let's see whether we find a lot on the bottom of this box too. Yeah, look here. Here's one. In the middle of the substrate, I sometimes I wonder what they do here because there's no wood around here. Also here's another one. I wonder what they are doing when they are not near a place where there is some for them so it's good that we place them into into the solar boxes with the kinchy flex soil mixture so they have the better food there and will be healthier and bigger animals also here I see another egg well you see we have been through this substrate already but we didn't find these well, we they have to come from somewhere where I don't know where they have hidden. Now this solo egg comes into that box, and now you can imagine what how we do that with Lucanus Tervus Occipitianus. And the next uh, stop will be in half an year when we go through all our uh, boxes again. As see for bigger larvae, then they should be L3 already. And you know, in the, during the winter time, when the temperature is going down to around 4 degrees, it shouldn't go deeper, then they don't grow so fast. So in half an year, we will see them as young L3 larvas. And this goes into this small hole here. And... Yeah, what, how many lovers do we have now? Two, four, six, seven, eight lovers and four eggs. So the next generation is, is here for sure. And we can be, we can lay back and look for some nice uh, adults to come out in around two years. So that's the time they need to come out as adults mostly. There are some very fast ones, like with uh, Lucanus Tervus Tervus. They can be here in around one and a half year already. But these big ones, I think they will last. They will take about two years or three uh, to become these nice big uh, adults. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Subscribe the channel and see what comes next. Thanks for watching.